the controversy rages on. There are those who believe that Shakespeare was Marlowe. Still others profess he was Bacon. But the majority believes that Shakespeare was really Spencer. <laughs> no, it wasn't me, but I love the compliment. <laughs> What do you have in your hand? Uh, well, I, I have a, a pinky and a thumb <laughs> and uh, three other fingers. <laughs> I'm talking about the note. Perhaps you would care to share it with the class. Um, a little piece for each one? Give me that. <laughs> Sex bulletin. <laughs> We've got... Three smoking chicks and to meet us on New Year's Eve, and they're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Spencer, who sent you this note? Um, I, I, I found that in my pocket. You see, these are my father's pants. If you look closely, the date says 1943. Spencer, report to your guidance counselor. Yes, Mrs. Spear. This time it's worth it. Sir, Miss Spears' class is not the appropriate place for this kind of filth. That's not filth. We were just making a date. Hopefully it'll be filth. <laughs> this sort of activity takes place after school and behind a bush. Huh? Mr. Beanley, you really can't blame me for getting excited. I mean, this is the first time that I've had a date on New Year's Eve. Usually, I uh, sit at home and watch 2,000 people in Times Square picking each other's pockets. You're blowing this date thing way out of proportion. There are many more fruitful ways to spend a New Year's Eve than a few hours of ecstasy. <laughs> However long it takes. Yeah, maybe you're right. But what do you do? I spend a nice, relaxing evening in my armchair. My cup of cocoa at my side, reviewing my life, reliving my past glories. And at nine o'clock, I go to bed. The next morning, when I get up, I'm one year closer to my pension. What a crazy guy. <laughs> Spencer, it's been a long year. We've had our ups and downs, but... I see something of myself in you, and that scares me. Well, that scares me, too. I want to end this year on an up note. Let's forget that little problem in class this morning and end the year as, as friends. All right. Happy New Year, Mr. Beanley. Happy New Year, Spencer. Um... <laughs> We're not going to hug, are we? <laughs> Please, Mom, choose. It doesn't matter, honey. You're gorgeous in anything. It's a New Year's Eve slumber party. Gorgeous isn't good enough. I've got to be dressed right. Now, which one should I wear? My Bruce Springsteen mm -hmm. or my Twisted Sister? <laughs> what happened to your Care Bears? woman does not wear Care Bears to a slumber party. Well, pardon me. I'll get you stiletto heels and a leather nightgown. Hi, everybody. This is going to be the greatest New Year's Eve ever. It sure is. Yes, I've got great news. So do I. Vance, you know how you said you didn't have anything to do on New Year's? Well, I solved your problem. Uh, no, I'm not going to Grandma's again. No, darling. I got you a date. 
<laughs> Good luck, Spencer. <laughs> well, you don't have to thank me. The joy in your face is thanks enough. I've already got a date. Who? I don't know. I've never met her. Wayne and Bailey fixed me up. All right, darling. It's up to you. You decide whose heart you want to break. Daughter of my best friend or some slime burger from school. I think I'll go for the slime. Honey, you're gonna love this girl. She's cute and she's sweet and she has a great sense of humor. Now, Mom, I want you to tell me the truth. If you saw her across the street, would you still know she's a girl? Spencer, I really want you to do this little favor for me. Mom, the guy said that my date is really hot. Now it's not a favor, it's a command. <laughs> Ginger? Are you here yet? <laughs> Outstanding. Come on, we've only got 20 minutes. What are we doing? We are making a bed out of these dissecting tables. <laughs> Why are we in the biology lab? Are you kidding? This is the perfect place to bring a date on New Year's Eve. It's a little scary, a little sexy. And it's biology, man. And that's what we're studying tonight. <laughs> We've got tonight. Who needs tomorrow? To my darling wife, the most beautiful woman in the world. To my darling husband who is always right. <laughs> you know what, George? I never thought I'd be lucky enough to have a man like you. Are you kidding? I've been nuts about you since the first time I saw you. Oh. You are walking down the street with your skirt tucked into the back of your pantyhose. <laughs> George, how do you remember little things like that? The whole city remembers. <laughs> Doris, Doris, you'll never guess what happened. We forgot to lock the door. <laughs> no. Our furnace broken. It's freezing over there. So we brought the slumber party over here. <laughs> I, I think I can get you 13 jackets. Yeah, or maybe I can fix your furnace. No, 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 no. We don't want to be any trouble. That's right, girls. Make yourselves comfortable. Stan's parking the car. Stan's coming, too. Yeah! He's bringing the Lawrence Welk records. Isn't this gonna be fun? I'll get it, honey. Thank you. Oh, hi. You must be Spencer. Uh, well, um, that depends. <laughs> Yes, I'm Spencer. Sweetheart, Spencer's here. Oh, hi. I'm almost ready to get my hair caught in my necklace. Well, take your time. Uh, the view's terrific. I'm ready. Right. change seats? No, no, this is fine. Well, it looks like you've got a salad growing on your head. <laughs> I hate that. They think they can get away with murder and stick me in the worst seat in the whole place just because I'm 16. Your mother said you were 18. Oh, I am. It's just that, that I look 16, so they think they can put me in the worst seat. How old are you? 17. But I've been this tall since I was 12. Oh, are, 
are you tall? <laughs> really? <laughs> God, I never noticed. <laughs> then why did you yell duck when we went under the bridge? <laughs> I uh, didn't want you to mess up your hair. <laughs> why do you keep looking at your watch? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Hey, can you believe we've only been out 19 minutes? Well, we'll just have to make the best of it. Yeah. Good idea. What are you staring at? Nothing, nothing. I... I hardly even notice. What? Just a, you've got a big glob of butter on your cheek. Thank you for sharing that with me. Hey, well, I wasn't going to tell you. I, you know, I tried to look at the other cheek, but that butter is just so disgusting. I couldn't... Thank you, fine. Did I get it off? Well, actually, you kind of just smeared it like you basted yourself. <laughs> I'm sexy. Come on, baby. Let me know. Oh! If you really need me, just reach out and touch me. Come on, baby. Let me what know. What did they say to make you think that they were going to meet us here? Good question. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> I asked them out for New Year's Eve, and they said, we'll see you. I said, where do you want to go? And they said, it's up to you. I said, hey, babes, how about the biology lab? And they said, see ya. <laughs> you idiot! They're not coming! They're probably out with the football team. There you go with the I'm down on Wayne talk again. Those chicks are walking up the steps right now on their way to love heaven. <laughs> What is the matter with you? Everybody else is out partying and we just got shot down by the two ugliest girls in the school. <laughs> no, we didn't. They'll be here and you know why? Because we are the two dynamite dates of a lifetime. <laughs> this has got to get better. given dental plaque much thought. George, it's that attitude that makes being a dentist a very frustrating profession. And dangerous. Did you realize that the human bite is more toxic than a Doberman's? We gotta liven up this party. Stan, do that little trick you used to do. You're not gonna bite me, are you? I can guess how many cavities you have in your head just by looking at you. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Come on, Doris, you're first. Oh, Stan, I don't think I want to play. You've got nine cavities burrowing their way through your teeth. In fact, I'd say you're about six months away from a total root canal. Stan. I hate your wig. <laughs> Bailey, you were great. Bailey, you were great. Bailey, you were great. I'm great. <laughs> Face it, doofus. They're not coming. 
me. They're a little late. Maybe they got lost. They've been going to the school for four years and they forgot where it is. Didn't say they were geniuses. <laughs> Bailey, we stop. When are you gonna admit it? We're losers. No, we're not. We can get other dates. It's only 11.30. Bailey! Okay. We're losers. We're fools. Zeros. Nerds. Geeks. But we're geeks who've got two smoking chicks coming down the hall. You're right. It's Sam. How did I ever doubt you? Bailey, you are great. Wow. Mona looks a little fat, doesn't she? Yeah, and why did she bring a broom? No. It's a janitor. I didn't know I parked in a tollway zone. Happy New Year. If you don't have exact change, get off my bus. Hey, we've got the money. Can you pay the man? Hey, I just spent $83 in a salad. Okay, big spender. You and Stretch can find a seat. You're lucky she didn't hear that. <laughs> I wonder about these people. They all seem so lost. Did it happen to them little by little, or was it a quick thing that happened to them all at once? Whatever you do, don't ask. Yeah, but I feel so bad. These desperate souls spending New Year's Eve on a bus. We're on this bus. Yes. So, so are, are you comfortable? I'm sitting in gum. You know, George, you got a real bone loss around that back molar. We may have to yank that sucker. Stan? Yes? Shut up. Look. What do you say we leave Mo and Curly here? And sneak upstairs. I'd love to. You know, Doris, you are a very sexy woman. Don't you ever forget it, Ace. <laughs> Promise me you'll tuck your skirt into your pantyhose. Stan, if we're not back in 30 days, go home. <laughs> you're a fool. Bailey, you're a fool. Bailey, you're a fool. You are a fool. Hey, where's Mr. Happy Face? Down. We're trapped. We've got to get out of here. Yeah, this guy waited too long. Why do I let you drag me into these things? Because I am danger. I am excitement. I am escape from the humdrum. Yeah, but why do you need me? Because I like you. Did you have to say that? You know, someday we're going to look back on this and laugh and tell our grandchildren. We're never going to get close enough to girls to have any grandchildren. Doesn't matter. 
We're buddies. We're pals. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Those girls are going to be here any minute. It's 11.58. Get ready to rock in the New Year. I can't believe this. You're supposed to be having a good time on New Year's. Hey, well, it's not that great for me either, okay? I lost a car tonight. You lost your car because you were too cheap to have the valet park it. <laughs> if I had to let the valet park it, you wouldn't have been able to eat that voulet coucla play Peugeot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Don't be sad. This isn't sadness, this is hatred. <laughs> What are you complaining about? I took you out for a terrific meal. Terrific meal? I still remember the look on your face when the waiter said 32.50. Oh, you noticed? I usually notice when somebody goes into shock. Uh, yeah, well, the high point of my evening was when you buttered your face. Yeah, well, you should have seen your face when, when you came to pick me up. I wasn't expecting somebody so... So... Tall? No. Statuesque. Well, your mother told me you were captain of the basketball team. Oh, she lied. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then they stuck us in that crummy table. <laughs> And your car got towed. <laughs> then that, the salad growing out of your head. <laughs> and the water on your pants. <laughs> that was not funny. Oh, then how come 40 people were laughing at you? <laughs> this is the worst evening of my entire life. <laughs> That's mine too. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Oh, neither will I. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. There's six seconds five, left. Could I kiss you Happy New Year's? You won't three, slide in the butter? Five, I'll take the rest. Happy